Hey guys, it's Sunfire. So I'm gonna make a quick video editing video just to go over like what I usually do on Adobe Premiere. Uh, a lot of our viewers actually requested this. Um, so I decided to make a YouTube video just so it lives on YouTube. I was thinking of doing a live stream on Twitch, but uh, might as well just make a YouTube video, right? So hopefully this helps you out. I'm gonna switch the screen. I will see you at the end. So right now we're in Adobe Premiere. Um, I created a new file, just, uh, I mean, if you open the, the program, it'll tell you create new file, create a new file, right? Uh, title it, right now I titled mine uh, Outlast 2, because we're going to make an Outlast 2 scared, funny moments compilation, so name it whatever you want, right? That's the name. I already made the file, so I'm just going to exit through this, but just make sure you, you select the right folder, right now this is my folder save it. So right now, this is our file. I named it Outlast 2 Spooky Moments, which makes sense. Um, so let's see, we're gonna drop some files in, right? Just grab the file from your computer. So right now I have the folder with all the videos. Uh, I tend to save the, the Premiere file inside of the folder where all my videos are, so everything is in one place. So just make sure to drag that over here to the timeline. Um, so these are all Twitch clips. How do you download clips? It's really easy. You just literally click on a clip right now. Right click, save video as. So right now, this is our intro. Alright, and that's how the video starts. Let me make this a little bigger. This is how you can do it bigger by coming over there and then yeah, there you go. So literally what I do is I just use the V as your selector tool. It's just like uh, the selection tool is what you use to like move things around and stuff like, you know, yeah. And then um, if you want to cut the clip, just press um, the C key and it'll be like, what is this? Um, razor tool right here. You can always just click here too. So um, I usually just use the razor tool. So wherever I don't want the video to like keep playing, I just cut it there and delete the rest. So let's see this clip. From the stream. Sometimes I just want to get to the point and I don't want the clip I to be too long. Comfort food to handle this game. Yep. <laughs> nice. I have some peanut butter and jelly at home. He's coming! Yo, why the f why would you say that? Why would you scream in my ear? Alright, so there is what I that's where I want this clip to end. I'm gonna take that part away because nothing happened. As you can see, these are the wave, uh, wavelengths. The waves, the audio waves. So if there's nothing going on, you know, it's silent. That makes sense. So this is where all the, the action happens because it's loudest, as you can see here. I definitely want the loudest part, so I want to keep that. However, it took forever to, like, get to that scene, so I'm gonna delete the rest. <laughs> nice. I have some peanut butter and jelly at home. Alright, I'm just gonna start it here. Because this this stuff is like unnecessary. It takes too long. Alright. What? What? My crotch? <laughs> Did you just cut my crotch? Alright, so I think that should be like the ending of Did that she clip. Did you slice me there? Did you see that blood? Was it coming out of the belly and then it looked like it was right on the crotch? Uh, actually, the whole the whole clip is okay. So, when there's unnecessary like silent parts, then I'll take that off. Okay. But uh, I guess right the whole thing's fine. When you give birth then you start moving things. Okay, just start moving the clips together. So uh, you continue doing the same thing through the rest of the clips and so forth. That's basically it. You you want to use the cutting tool? You use uh, V as the selector tool. Um, yeah, that was a gross scene. Anyway, you should watch the video just to see what happens. Although there's spoilers, so yeah, I should totally put this at the title <laughs> on the title of this video spoilers if you haven't played outlast 2 but um let's see uh and then you move the timeline uh bar you know back and forth just to see where you are it shows you the preview of the video where it looks uh what it looks like when you move it which helps a lot to know where you are anyway this is the image that i use it's the the ending image and usually it's just you know subscribe etc 
Uh, let me make this smaller. Why isn't it? Oh, we got to select it in order for the things to show up. Okay, so if you have this selected and you want to edit this, it's going to go and go ahead and do the, the changes for the one that's selected. Okay, so make sure the timeline is on this one and it's white, which means selected. Then you come to scale. There you go. Bring it down. Okay, there you go. Um, and then what else? So here we have the effects and controls for every single uh, object of the timeline. And then you can also apply audio transition effects, which is usually, usually what I do towards the end. Um, let's say if I have, I'm going to add a song because I usually do that at the end. This is the song that I use, Chibi Ninja by Eric Skiff. And then... I'm going to cut it. Well, I'm going to leave this a little bit longer so there's time to digest the video. Um, so I don't want this to be super abrupt. This is how it's going to sound without the transition. Alright, I do have to cut this clip. Um, I think that should be fine. It's a good ending. Ended at fucking annoying. Anyway, then um, I do want to put a fade in on the song so you literally just drag it and drop on the object that you want to affect you can also change the duration of it so if you just zoom in with this bar down here you can just come over here with uh you're always with your v tool okay selected but it's gonna make this little icon of like a bracket and just move it back you know what? It doesn't really need that transition. I really just wanted to just show you by just dropping it in and see how it how how it would happen, uh, what it would do. So yeah, that's usually what I do. I actually um don't fade it in because that to me doesn't sound right. But you can always fade in or fade out the intro, which I did here already. But what I did is I created this intro on Premiere already. So what I did is I added a fade out. Okay, and that tile effect is also something that you can use on video effects. When you open stylize this mosaic um, effect right here, you can drop it on the... Okay, so this is the video timeline and this is the audio timeline. It's only going to affect video because it's for video. Anything that has to do with audio up here, you drop it down here because this is for audio. All right, so this is mosaic. It's going to make <laughs> nice. the video look this way. So butter. there's a lot of effects that you can do. You can do mosaic, you can do transitions that fades out to black, etc. There's a lot of things here. Um, but right now, this is what I do. I just cut the clips, bring them together, and make sure that the video has a, a good transition between each other. There's an effects section here for every single object of the timeline when you come over here this is where you're gonna find your projects items every single item is here every image every song every video is gonna be here that's pretty much it that's totally like the only things i do on premiere um i drag effects sometimes i do like fade outs and fade ins and uh, there's not much i can do uh for our compilation videos if it's like a more like thoroughly like produced video that we have on our channel which is one that I can think about is probably going to be the Nintendo Switch videos that we have. I've edited those a little bit more thorough, added some, you know, uh, I guess slow motion and changed colors. Metadata, it's just, you know, I, I don't really go in there. Uh, it's just there to provide extra information. Then um, for audio, if you want to lower the volume, uh, it's going to tell you each track so right now we have this track we're gonna play it okay make sure you have it selected if you want to lower that volume okay let's just do right now i'm gonna keep that one like like how it is but let's say this this song i'm gonna lower that volume okay so let's just play now you can see you can see the track so you can always just turn it down as it's as it's playing just like that okay uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other, um, you know, requests, if you want to see something specific, like I said, I'm still learning uh, this program. I would love to learn more things, but if you guys have other things that you would like to see, 
that I can provide to you. Um, it's mostly what I do on Premiere for our YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see something else specific. I could look into it and then maybe learn it and then teach you. Um, I don't know. Anything else, let me know. This is what I do and this is how I keep it simple to our video compilations. You can always comment down below. Let me know. You can DM me on Twitter, everything else. You can follow me on my Twitch and then we can talk there. If you, if you, if you find our videos on YouTube, I would love to meet you over Twitch and watch me play some games live. And then that's always fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you. And if you have other suggestions, comments, everything else, you know what to do. All right. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and do that if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed, that would be awesome too. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.